been a hot sec. I have now finished my first year of university which is absolutely crazy but now I thought it was time to rekindle the channel. There we go that's a good that's a good little angle. So I'm currently reading The Kingsman by Nora Sakovic. I think that's how you say her last name as we all know not the best at pronouncing names but it is the third and final installment in the all for the game series slash foxhole court i'm not sure many people will actually know this series because i'd never heard of it before until my friend kezzy shout out to kezzy um recommended it to me as it is her favorite series of all time she said that the fandom is quite a small but very dedicated fandom um and i can see why it it is so good Oh my god so basically the series is about this guy called neil and he is on the run and he gets recruited into this sports team called exe well the sport is called exe um he gets recruited to palmetto state university's exe team to to play in one of the biggest leagues and on the team there is a bunch of teens who also have trouble pasts uh, which you learn about throughout the book series and oh my god it is so good there was so much that I didn't even expect to happen in the book but it just fits so well and oh, I just I cannot describe how much I love these books I'm on the third book and I don't want it to end <laughs> it's just so good I literally spent the whole of Monday reading the second book me and Kezi have formed like a bit of a book club which I just I just love it makes me so happy uh so yeah that is my book of choice I also think I'm going to start an audiobook because I'm currently doing some embroidery for my shop oh if you would like me to do um vlogs or videos about my shop let me know because I really love watching studio vlogs where people just vlog their day about doing their shop um so yeah let me know but now I think I'm going to read some more. I might make a nice coffee. It is now time to start reading. I'm going to get my little a little reading playlist up and then it's reading time ladies and gents oh my god <laughs> shall we watch how to prepare for the SAT in 45 seconds when we begin 86 aka Dylan O'Brien <laughs> oh god for anyone wondering this is my reading playlist dark academia playlist volume 2 yeah, we don't mess around. Okay, now it's time to start reading. bit later and I have been listening to the audiobook of The Kingsman and I'm now on chapter 8 I believe and I think I was on chapter 5 this morning so I'm on, I've read three chapters um but yeah it's going well um I am now going to create some designs for my embroidery um I just come up with some few ideas and now i'm gonna put them into procreate and then i'm going to maybe make a start on the designs tonight but yeah i'm going to use procreate now and listen to my audio book hey guys i'm not okay something just happened in the book 
<laughs> I'm so happy but also not stable. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Two of the characters who I've had a suspicion that would get together. Oh. <laughs> Two of the characters. Oh my god, it's falling again. Need to stay. Two of the characters who I had a sneaky sp suspicion of would get together have just got together and. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna die. Actually, they think I'm gonna make it out of this book alive. <laughs> <laughs> my heart good morning it is now what is the day friday i think it's friday um last night i didn't vlog much because i went out with some friends to celebrate deadlines and it was super nice um well it was really cold so <laughs> i didn't stay out for too long but um today i am off to the library because um, although I have finished my deadlines, my friend Rachel, she hasn't, and I just said, oh, I'll come to the library with you. Do you like going to the library? I'm going to read and maybe work on some stuff for the shop um, on my iPad. So, yeah. It's also currently, what's the time? Two minutes to nine. I'm so tired. <laughs> morning it is now saturday um i was going to go for a walk today because it's been a bit doom and gloom and it was looking really nice whilst i was getting ready not that i've really done much to my parents but it's just started chucking it down again so i guess that's out the window <laughs> but today i think i'm just gonna spend the day reading because i am so close to finishing the kingsman and I just, I just want to know what happens. So yesterday I didn't really vlog because, um, as I said, I went to the library. <laughs> I watched Avengers in the library. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and then for the rest of the day, uh, we just spent the day together. We are in a support bubble. Just, just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, and then we made dinner. We made. We have mastered the these cheese toasties. I know cheese toasties. They sound a lot, but oh my god, they are amazing. Tell me your student without telling me your student. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yesterday was really fun. I did actually read quite a bit yesterday. Um, I'm about halfway through. It says I'm 53% through the book, which is fun. Um, I don't actually know what I'm going to read next. Welcome to my bookshelf. <laughs> This is what happens when you live close to a water stones. Um, so I'm thinking of reading The Death Cure because before I picked up uh, Foxhole Court series, I was reading the, uh, the two Maze Runner books. So I think I might pick up The Death Cure. No. Okay, so as you can tell, it's now night time. Um, I have gotten so much reading done today. <laughs> A little bit of a change of plan. Rachel actually came around because she wanted like a little study buddy to keep her company, and I was like, "Yeah, sure, come around mine." Um, as you can tell, me and Rachel have separation anxiety, and we can't spend more than five minutes away from each other. Anyway, besides that, I have read so much today, and I have gotten to a really intense bit of the book, so I'm having to keep on pausing because. I physically can't read it because it's so intense. Um, I'm just about to carry on reading now. I've had a bit of a break, but I think I'm ready again now. Um, but yeah, oh, so much is happening and I'm not okay. But you know, we move, we move. Uh, please, someone help me. I'm just going to go cry myself to sleep. <laughs> you can't really see me right now, but I think I'm about to cry. Oh my God, I'm not okay. Hello, it is now Sunday. Um, I have no other plans today than to read and I'm very excited. I should get the book finished today. Um, it says I have about two hours left, so definitely get it finished. If anyone is thinking of reading this series, I would just like to say there are quite a few trigger warnings, so please keep that in mind. I'll leave them in the description down below. Um, just in case anyone was wondering what they are. Um, I don't want to spoil it, just in case. You do want to read it, but you don't want to, 
yeah anyway <laughs> yeah i'll leave the trigger warnings in the description but yeah the first two books i gave four stars but i think this book definitely gonna be a five star read i i feel like i have a connection on it sounds really lame i feel like i have a connection to the characters and there's just so much happening in this book and also in this book there's a romance there's not any romance really in the other two books but this one there has a romance has not blossomed because yeah I don't want to say anything because I don't want to give spoilers away maybe it wasn't the best time to start a reading vlog on the last book in a series anyway uh, I just keep getting emotional about how much I love these characters and I think that means a five star read. I saw something on Twitter and it was like, the difference between a four and a five star read is whether the characters live rent free in your mind. And I was like, yes, that is very true. All I've been able to think about are the characters in this book and I would protect them with my life. I mean, I know they are, they do some questionable things, but that's just because they've had trouble pasts. They're not an example of how you should live your life, but I would still take a bullet for them. <laughs> Anyway, time to read and uh, probably update you when I have finished the book, which is exciting. So, yeah, bye. <laughs> I've finished the book. Oh my god. <laughs> My heart is so happy and oh my god, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, so my thoughts on the book. I went through many, many emotions whilst reading that. I don't think I've ever gone through so many emotions whilst reading a book before. As I mentioned earlier, if you are planning to read this series, definitely check out the trigger warnings because there are some parts where it's quite intense and it's a lot and it goes into quite graphic detail i'm not going to obviously say what happens but just putting that out there if you're interested in reading the books but other than that oh my god i gave this book five stars that was ten five stars the character development of neil Andrew and Kevin like from the first book to this book oh my god I obviously can't say much because I don't want to spoil it but oh my god I just can't get over how much I love this book not this series but specifically this book I, I've been left speechless <laughs> This is five, 10 minutes after finishing the book. <sighs> Hello everyone, it is now Tuesday. <laughs> I didn't vlog anything yesterday, but I did start the Death Cure, which is the third book. Oh, the bookmark's about to fall out. Um, it is the third book in the Maze Runner series. And oh boy, <laughs> it's so good so far. Um, if you didn't know, I really like the Maze Runner films, mainly because Dylan O'Brien. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I thought I'd give the books a go. And the books are so different compared to the films. Like the plot, I wish they stuck with this plot for the films because, oh my god, <laughs> it is insane. Especially the second book, which is The Scorch Trials. It strays so far away from the film, obviously because the book came out first, but... Or should I say the film strays so far away from the book. But if that plot was in the film, I don't think I'd make it out live. It's very, it's quite gory. And there's one point in the second book where I had to put it down because it was just, <laughs> it was just too much happening. There was also another point where I got quite scared and I was reading it at night. I was like, I can't carry on reading this. <laughs> But anyway, we're not talking about the Scorch Trials, we're talking about the Death Cure. Um, I read... Oh, I am on page 50. Uh, so, I did read quite a bit yesterday, which I'm quite proud of. Um, but today I am 
going to do some washing and I'm going to do a food shop uh, but that's all I've really got planned for today so oh Rachel is calling me I will be back <laughs> I just got rain in my eye. I'm so alone. As you could tell from the last couple of clips, me and Rachel went to the park, but unfortunately, five minutes after we got there, it started to pour it down with rain. So that was fun. Um, this is, well, actually my hair doesn't look as bad as it did before, but it looked like a drowned rat beforehand. Anyway, <laughs> um, I have got quite a bit of reading done today. A lot has happened in my book, basically, which makes me believe that I've done a lot of reading. Loving this book so far, living up to my expectations. And again, it is very different from the film. Like the things that are happening in the book literally never even happened in the film, which I'm loving because it's like giving me a whole new story and it's just making me fall in love with Thomas More which may be due to the fact that Dylan O'Brien plays him in the films. But anyway, um, <laughs> I'm now going to make dinner. I also need to put my washing away, although I do have a big fleecy blanket on my bed and I've washed it and it is so warm and fluffy and also smells amazing. The joys of adulthood. <laughs> Actually, before I go, um, the trailer for the Dear Evan Hansen movie came out today and oh my god I am so excited. Okay so for my dinner I think I'm gonna have chicken teriyaki but in a wrap. So let me just show you. So I've got, I've got this chicken which is so good by the way. It's like crispy with chicken and then I also found these um, sachets in Tesco and it's just like stir fry sauce but it goes so well if you put it in a wrap so i think i'm gonna heat this up and i'm gonna um put up some veg as well and have like chicken teriyaki but in a wrap also minus the rice because i don't really fancy rice today so yeah i'm excited <laughs> so you can show off some new cool thing that the cj got you let me guess that would look amazing but that's not what i came here for can't really see but it has literally been raining for like two weeks straight what is happening ah <sighs> not a not a fan not a fan hello it is wednesday and i'm actually going to end the vlog here because i was going to do it last night but i completely forgot so <laughs> It is now time to end the vlog. I hope you have all enjoyed it. Uh, I will be giving my thoughts and feelings on the Off The Game series slash Fox Hog Court. Keep your eye out for that because I have a lot of thoughts and feelings <laughs> towards that series and it makes me want to cry. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, I'm reading The Death Cure, which is the last book in the Maze Runner series. And yeah. I will be, if you have enjoyed this reading vlog, I will do another one soon. Bye!